Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have uh, an application, it's called uh, Librera Reader, because I was trying to look for an Android application to read back PDF file to me instead of actually reading the file. So I've been looking in the Google Play Store and I came across this uh, application. It's called uh, Librera Reader. And this application actually what it does is it can read back the PDF file instead of actually you reading a PDF file it can actually read it back to you and I will show you an example of some of the um, the, the, the voice uh, that it can actually read back to you the text with um, so this is a free application you can download it from uh, from the Google Play Store I'm not sure if it is in the App Store as well for uh, iPhone users um, but uh, if you search for Librera Reader online, there is actually a website where you can go to and uh, read more about this application. Uh, there might be some um, in-app purchase too, but uh, I find the, the free app application is uh, quite sufficient for me in terms of what I was looking for, which is basically um, getting the, the phone or the, the app to read back the PDF file to me. So I have a textbook to show you how this experience actually looks like and the way I'm, I'm recording this i'm actually recording this on my phone on my android phone but i connect uh, a mouse to it so that i can actually show you uh, what happens when um, with the mouse instead of pointing to the uh, icon that i would like to point to so you can see it with that with the mouse cursor right away so this is the book that uh, i'm trying to get something to read it back to me this book is pdf um, so what's going to happen is once you open the, the app, you can actually get the application from your folders. If you if you download the PDF file under your downloads or your documents. So now I have the application being uh, imported basically to the um, app. So what you do is you double click on it. And or you click on it. And once you do that, you have three different um, um, reading modes that you can actually go through. Uh, the first one is scroll mode, which is basically getting the app to scroll through the pages. And then the second one is, is book mode. And then the third one is the mu musician's mode. And I found out that the, the best one is actually the scroll mode, uh, which is basically having the PDF uh, in a scroll where the, as the application is reading through, it, it, it can actually scroll by itself automatically. And I will show you how this happens. So if you if you click on scroll mode, you will find that the um, basically all the pages um, is in a scroll. And what's going to happen is if you if you, for example, you want to start to read from, let's say, from this uh, sentence. So if you click on it and it gets highlighted, you're going to be presented with this pop up menu. And what you could do is you could actually if you click on this um, uh, speaker, you will be able to to hear the that only that um, uh, word. So if I click on it, D. So it says D, uh, but you'll see beside it a head with a with a headphone, and this is basically when it starts to read back to you. So I'm gonna click on it, so you can actually hear the the sound. Um, uh, of the narration and then we'll stop it and go through uh, other options as well so yeah sometimes as you can see the app crashed so you just click on it again and then let's go back to the same word that I was talking about and then you click on it. The case against regulation despite the problems illustrated by platform business like monkey parking, there are many who would argue that the potential abuses and social dislocations caused by platforms are a small price for the tremendous innovation, new value and economic growth. So this is how it sounds. But the other thing is you could actually change the way that that uh, that this sounds uh, looks like. So if you go down here, you will see now different menu. And this is the menu where you can actually start to get this to read back to you again. Or if you click on this head with the um, with the headphone, you will have a different menu. And this is this different menu. You can change the speed. 
you can change the pitch, you can change the volume. But one thing you, I want to highlight here is the voice. So if you click on voice right now, it's actually reading uh, text to speech uh, as Google text to speech uh, engine. So this is how Google text to speech engine sounds like. But then if you click on voice and it depends on your phone. So my phone here is Samsung phone. So if I click on the preferred engine, you have Samsung uh, text to speech, in, uh, to, to speech um, engine. So if I click on this and I go back and then go back again and then uh, we'll start to get this to read back, you will, you will hear different sound. To take advantage of the agility and low overhead costs that labor platforms make possible, but in a society like the United States. So obviously, the reason I started with Google is Google actually engine text to speak to speech engine is is uh, is much a little bit much more personal than Samsung. You may have different experience, uh, or you may prefer something else. And based on your phone, you may have different engines as well. So I'm gonna continue with the Google text to speech um, engine, and I will go back and go back again. And these are the basically the sound how the sound would would uh, would sound like how the speed how the pitch how the volume and so on so this is one thing that you can get from this basically head with the microphone but the other thing is which is useful is this icon beside it because when when this text starts to be read you don't really have to scroll you can get this to scroll by itself and you, when you click on it when you click on this icon you will see that uh, this actually the lines are disappearing because it's scrolling up so you could actually follow you just hold your phone and you you just listen to the voice and you will see that the the text is actually scrolling you can change the the speed of this scroll as well um, but basically what's going to happen is you're going to just hear the voice and if you want to uh, follow this uh, text you can just click on this uh, icon and it will continue to scroll. Otherwise, if you don't and you stop it, what's going to happen is as the, the text to speech engine is reading, it will eventually, uh, so eventually it's going to write, uh, read the whole page. And once it reaches the, the end of the page, that you will see that the page actually jumps. So you will know that you're on the following page and keeps doing uh, all of that and continue. And it's not going to stop until you actually ask it to stop so the the main two things to to look for here is basically this icon if you want this to scroll automatically and this icon if you want to change the speed or the pitch or the volume of the text to speak to speech engine that actually um, reads back the text to you so i find i found that actually very useful and it's it's much faster to hear the pdf file basically it's like an audio uh, book now, but obviously that PDF file is not going to open in in um, in um, in Kindle or any other application. It's just a PDF file, and I found out that this application is is very useful to to if you just give it a PDF file, it will continue to read it. And uh, one thing is Google Text to Speech is not going to distinguish between the text and anything else. So, for example, this author likes to put the the reference to whatever. Um, where he, where they got the the idea about that sentence, or if they uh, got the sentence from a different reference, so they put it under, as you can see here, seventeen. So this seventeen actually refers to a specific reference. So one one uh, drawback of this application is it will continue to actually read, and then will read that seventeen back to you, which sometimes is confusing, but when you get used to it. You will, you will be able to actually weed out this as you're hearing uh, the text that goes back to you. And the other thing is, uh, it will continue, obviously, to read uh, anything else. So if there is a reference to a figure, for example, it will actually read figure 11.1. Um, so it doesn't do well with the with these kind of uh, things. And it doesn't obviously do well with, the, with, with a graph. So if you have a graph like this, uh, it's not going to read the graph, but it will read the title of the graph. So it will continue to read figure 11.1 uh, .1 and read the whole sentence. So this might not be uh, appealing to you, but at least you can you can actually uh, read the majority of the text um, instead of, uh, sorry, you know, um, uh, listen to the majority of the text as opposed to actually uh, reading it. So this would be very useful if you have like a novel where, where there is no... Uh, 
figures or uh, tables or uh, graphs or things like this because if it's all text this is very useful because you can just listen to the whole thing and as i said this application is free and it can read any pdf file so if you have any pdf file in terms of like if you have a novel in a pdf file you can just uh, open it in this um, um, uh, application and just uh, listen to it as opposed to uh, actually uh, reading it and you will find yourself going through the book or going through the pdf file much faster because it's much faster to listen uh, than actually uh, read except if you're a fast reader um, so I found this application very useful and that's why I, I, I wanted to share my experience with you so I hope this is uh, helpful and um, we'll see you in the next one